Good morning. Today we are going to be doing maintenance on a Suzuki 300. Uh, today we're going to change the oil in this motor. Um, we're right at 168 hours, but we're fixing to take a trip down to the Keys for lobster season, so uh, we're going to get ahead of the maintenance schedule and just knock it out right now and get the oil changed and make sure we don't have any issues in the Keys. My lovely assistant Mia here helping me today. And we're just going to go through a uh, simple process of changing the oil um, and save yourself a bunch of money. You can get, uh, go online, Google search uh, Suzuki Marine Parts or Suzuki Dealers. Usually these people carry all these parts that you need to change these oil uh, and these motors. So you can go online and check that out. The first thing I like to do is just take a standard drill, Phillips bit, and you can go ahead and remove all these screws. I've already done it here. There's two in the back, don't forget about. But remove all these screws and we can take our center cap off of here. Watch so. Set these somewhere to the side. They don't get messed up. Now, the reason I like to do that is because when we do pull this, it's going to get oil all over the place. And I don't want to get it all over inside the cowling everywhere else. Also, it gives us a chance uh, to take a look and inspect the motor here in the midsection um, and get access to all the lubrication points. So, what we start out with this is our drain plug right here. So what we do is just take an Allen wrench, Allen wrench on there, and we can turn this. Me, I need a bucket, catch all our oil. I'm gonna drain all this oil out. What we're gonna do is start it out high. We don't have a bunch of drain. All right, while we're waiting for that, the next thing to do is remove the oil filter. Now you can see how my mechanic here, the last time he did it, um, he did the actual full service on the old motor and we had a warranty issue to deal with. But he actually puts the date and um, the last the last time it was serviced and how many hours it had on it at the time. It's always a good idea to put that on it, so if you can't remember exactly when you did it, you can refer back to that and take a look. So what we're gonna do is just remove that real quick. I've already loosened it up. Gonna spin that off, take it out. Now the new oil filter, we make sure we get it. It's General Suzuki Parts XR oil filter. We're gonna go ahead and just rub a little bit of oil on that top of it, just lube it up, put it right back in place. Actually, let's go ahead and clean this real quick so we don't have any excess oil. Make sure that's all good and clean. Spin this on. not to over tighten it just hand tight will be fine clean it all up here we go we got the uh, actual nut out Suzuki does recommend that you put a new compression ring in there each time so you can buy that make sure you get that we're gonna clean this off all the oil is drained put this back in place with the new compression ring all right and that will tighten her up just a bit tight and we'll clean up the rest of this oil. All right, so the next thing we need to do is make sure we get plenty of grease in these fittings here in the midsection of the motor. These are known to be trouble areas for the Suzuki, so make sure you get plenty of grease down in there. We'll get that middle portion of the motor. All right, so next after we get that put in, we want to find our where we add our oil plug. It's yellow usually in color. We can get you a funnel set up. And we have our XR oil here. My mechanic just buys it in bulk so I can get it like this at a cheaper price. And we're going to go ahead and add it in. Now we've already added our oil in place. Remember, it took almost two gallons and 
I'd probably stop at one and a half gallons, start checking it to make sure you don't overfill. Um, real big thing on this is you'll notice on the dipstick, you have a little hole in the bottom and a little hole in the top. Your range when you fill that back up should be should not exceed the top. It should not be lower than the bottom. I like to try to get it about seven eighths, and that's where I want it to be at. So once I have my one and a half in there, I kind of um, just kind of feather it in from that point to see where to make sure we have the right amount of oil. Now we want to go back over here to the top. We want to go ahead and take our funnel out, put our cap back on. Cap goes on good and tight. All right, so we've put our cowling back on here, make sure all our bolts are tight. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws total in this. Make sure they're all set up and the cowling set where it's supposed to be and get that screwed off. And then what I like to do is basically just go over and make sure I don't have any oil, or dirty hand prints on the motor and clean it all up. And with that being said, I usually check my oil one more time, uh, make sure my filter's not leaking any oil out of it. Um, check the levels one more time, make sure I'm within range, and that's basically it. It took me about 20 minutes to do the uh, complete oil change. Thanks for watching. If you like, hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up.